I, I, I was born in 1950, so my first memories of Halloween would have been, let's say, around 1957. And uh, the, first, the most common thing I remember would be the apples. My dad would hang an apple from the ceiling and he'd put a three penny bit in it. And it go in real far because there were six boys in our house. And you had to get, put your hands behind your back and you had to take it out your teeth. And it was very hard to do it, but the apple would keep swinging away from you, swinging away from you. But eventually, somebody would get it. So then the next one, you get a basin of water and you put an apple in it, which is a truckly bit, and the apple would go down to the bottom. And you had to put your head in without your arms to get the truckly bit out. And then that was hard as well. And then the other thing around remember was the starlight. You, you could go down to Moor Street and get the starlight. A penny of starlight. And then the bangers were illegal to buy. So they say, three pence a package of starlights. You want bangers. You want bangers. Because they're going in, they'd get in Belfast. And, uh, they, and then maybe the dinners and mothers have to, uh, on, on the occasion, she'd have kale. And she used to do a thing with... Uh, Mashed potatoes and onions, and I don't know whether it was milk or any kids, it was mixed, all mixed up, and she'd be starving. And uh, that's my little memory of it. What were they called, Calcannon? Calcannon, yeah, that's just the mm. Yeah. We're living just off the road here in Anna. Mm. I was born in a good bit before Tommy, 1939, and uh, at the end, actually, in December, 19 December, we're nearly into 40. A bar just at the beginning of the Second World War. But the things uh, I can remember, Tommy has uh, touched on some of them there, about down with apples and fruit and bits and, uh, bits and things like that. But what we used to do is go around to the neighbors' houses and we'd bring around people who could sing a song and could dance or could tell a little story. And they all had visitors on them, of course. All the visitors on, uh, never knew. Even um, in your own, if your own kids came back, you wouldn't be able to recognize them into your own house. But they used to go around, uh, we used to go around to the houses anyway, whatever. And uh, you would get an apple or an orange, or in some cases, that time, sixpence or a shilling. Provided you always got money if there wasn't too many in the crowd. But if there was a big crowd, you didn't get any money. But maybe you got a sweet each or something like that. Or maybe an apple each, whatever. But uh, we used to go around in there. And, uh, of course, uh, Dublin was very handy to go from house to house. But down here, it wasn't as handy. But there was always a car or two to bring us around from house to house. And um, we used to go out, we'd be out for two or three hours uh, on Halloween. And uh, we'd come back then, and uh, everyone had a little bag, something in the bag, there'd be apples and oranges, maybe, and things like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's the things that I, the things that I remember uh, very clearly, very distinctly. But there was, there was a couple of very good singers with us, and we always got more when we had those people, when we had those people with us. Because uh, the definitely the better show we put on, more we got. That's really uh, Jennifer. What uh, I can remember clearly. <laughs>